it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and day three in Encinitas. So much progress. Thank you all for stopping by too. We've had a slew of followers since Hannah exposed the cross streets, uh, but we've enjoyed meeting you. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, so today for starters, we got this upper bed all cleaned out. Mel has been meticulously cleaning out all of the dry stack. I'm not going to be planting in between the rocks though. That just feels a little janky to me. I think it's going to be better to just wash and clean. So the uh, installation will be all up in here. Then I'm going to be buying three new pots for the entry, which is very exciting. And the agave attenuata that we pulled out of this installation, just the regular foxtails, we're going to plant over here. And oh, look, it's Randy from Sea Green Scapes. <laughs> Woo! Um, it's so good. I love it. Yes. So those agave tenuatas will flesh out this area over here. And we're in Encinitas. So this is kind of like Coronado in that it's basically beach sand. So it's very, very easy to, to dig. We did a little bit of dry stacking and edging here to contain this part of the installation. Applied all of our usual suspects into the garden. We are going to be cleaning up all this river rock edging all the way around the property and probably doing something with this bender board DG part right here. This is part of phase two, but I can't go off and leave that. So I'll probably either do, I don't know, you'll see what I do, because who knows? But we are gonna do California Gold, like we did in Poway, but smaller. It'll be the 3 8 inch top dressing rock. And then I will be doing one of my classic ribbons with 3 quarter inch burgundy lava. Because we've got a lot of movement through those palms. We're turning a corner, we're going up there, and I want the eye to follow all the way around. So, and say hi to Miles. You all remember Miles? Hi. It's just old home week here at Design for Serenity. Oh. Oh. Okay, and so bones are all in. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this mangave. This is from Sun Valley, and I don't know exactly what it is, and Caesar didn't really want to tell me, and I understand because he's propagating these, but it's just so exciting and so fabulous. These are such beautiful plants. I'm so happy with them. I got Dudley of Bertoni eyes, quite a few of these. These are native to here in San Diego. So I'm super excited to have found them and to be able to use them in the installation. Also, if you look at the ground, look at this, how gross this is. And how, just imagine how beautiful this is gonna be when we get this all cleaned out and all this river rock reset. Uh! Um, I'm always more excited about the curb than I am the plants, but now I'm really not. So lots and lots of rocks. You saw all the rocks. Um, I'm done with the planting in here. I might tuck in a few more one gallon things. I will be making an oasis run tomorrow. Dad's checking the irrigation. So oh, look, daddy's cool. checking the irrigation so you can see the little drippy, drippy drips. So because we do have so many plantings and because we want to support the palms, Greg just ran ribbons of subterranean drip irrigation all the way through rather than wringing each individual plant. There's just, you know, I mean, things are so close together. Uh, it made sense to do it that way. Uh, over here, Kevin worked tirelessly today. Look how nice this looks, y'all. Let me move the wheelbarrow out of the way. That, which was a dirt patch, we took some of these big uh, round rock that we found in the landscape, made an edge between the properties, and just recycled a bunch of river rock that was just laying around. We and did put weed fabric down. Oh yeah, and we did put weed barrier fabric down, and Kevin came in here, and he also leveled. Uh, and we moved a lot of the dirt that he took out of here over there. But now this just looks really finished, and I'm really really happy with this and uh, I know this is a tiny bit of a digression um, but I don't care I have such an important thing to show you yeah we did 
Uh, oh, and then this irrigation as well, the guys will come in tomorrow and they'll trench and bury and staple this so that it doesn't show. That's also super important. Um, I'm digressing, yes. Uh, two things, one, you are all, guys are all excited about those nopales, about me doing something with that um, cactus fence. And I was just riffing. I was riffing, that's the neighbor's property. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that. I'm so sorry, but maybe, you know, who knows? Uh, but this is what I wanted to show you. You stay there and I'm gonna go over here. Remember what I told you about how when you have the dreaded utility boxes, don't try to cover them up because what you're gonna do is just accentuate them. Exhibit A, see how this hedge says, look at the utility boxes. If they had just continued working the landscape through here, you wouldn't have noticed these nearly as much. So this is what I'm talking about not to do. Okay, so that's, that's your big tip of the day. Um, gosh, what else? Uh, huh, I, I think that's it, right? We'll be back to... Yeah, we, we kicked butt today. So um, we will see you tomorrow with more finish work. We will be putting the final touches. Right here, why don't you, before you say bye, okay. tell them what went in first. Okay, yeah. okay, before I say goodbye, uh, you did see the pile of rocks and you saw the mounding. This is five yards of soil in here. I could have used seven, but okay, we worked with it. Um, first thing that we did was you know, move the boulders around and the boulders placement was in flux all day long. We were editing all day, moving things. So don't be afraid to do that. Next boulders. Um, after, the, after the boulders, we put in our foundations. I started with this Bacarnia recurvata that Colin dug out. It was right here, I think. No, it was over here. Yeah, right here, just like leaning right against the palm. So we dug that monster out, planted him here. Then I brought in the Dazzlerian longissimums. You're right. It was the barrels. I have one, two, three, four here, and then I've got a pair around the corner. Um, and that was also challenging because this installation goes, you know, around the corner, and I want it to be seamless. So I kept having to go over there and look and see, and made sure to make sure that I had everything balanced out. So Dazzlerians came after the barrels. One, two, three. This is probably one of my favorite plants now are the Dazzlerian longissimums. Then these fantastic um, agave blue glows from Sun Valley Nursery. Then the Mediopictas, yep. little Mediopicta alvas. There's three of those. So I'm just designing in threes and I'm kind of making triangles in the landscape. And after those, those bones went in, and we also included the striata as part of the initial foundations, um, then the Millii Reddy Reds. See those pops of red? That was also important to get right. So I staged the Millii's in there. You just want the eye to be able to go through your design seamlessly. That's what you're, you're trying to achieve is a seamless uh, trip through the, um, through the installation. And so everything I do is in support of that from the way I plant to the way I rock to the way I ribbon. Uh, so you'll get to see some more of the rocking and the ribboning and the pots that I'm going to get and uh, the smaller things for, you know, pops of color in here. And then we'll pretty much be wrapping up. So thanks all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. So many of you have joined the channel and are contributing financially lately. And I thank you so much for that. It's so helpful. Um, thanks again for buying Design for Serenity t-shirts, but most of all for all of your comments and all of your support. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting for Team DFS in Encinitas with your succulent tip of the day and day three. Peace out, everybody.